Okay, good morning everybody. It is Tuesday the 24th of January 2023. Um, I'm over at Anfield in Stanley Park. You can hear, you might be able to hear loads of work going on there at the moment. Um, I'm going to do my my midweek video, which is, turn your back around, which is my my voiceover. Um, as I said last week, it's it's changed around because of the way the weather was, it's all changed. So my midweek ones now are my voiceover ones where I address any questions and comments you put to me on my weekend video, which went out on Saturday morning this week before the uh, before the Chelsea game. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get up in the air and, and, uh, and do this video now. It's it's look, I'll, I'll talk about the weather as well, because I think you all get to get to enjoy my weather updates. Um, but it's it's cold, really cold. But it's it's nice. The um, there's no wind. There's no wind at all. So it's perfect conditions to get up. Um, it looks like it might be a bit rainy tomorrow, so I'm over here today. Get up in the air, address some of these question comments. So, yeah, um, get up there now and go for it. Let's have a look at it. Okay, guys, so straight up in the air from the usual spot. And we're going to head... I'll get up to, to height first, and we're going to head straight over there and get into these questions and comments no no lenses on the drone today uh, because as you can see it's uh it's a little cloudy so took the lenses off to make sure we're getting the the best view we can so we'll just get nice and close to it have a little look at that corner section between the anfield road stand and the main stand Whilst I get my phone out and jump into these these questions and comments that all you amazing people have put over to me. So we're going to go first up, John Redhead. Um, I think I've read out one of yours before, haven't I, John? Um, name rings a bell. Um, anyway, John said, let me just check everything's recording. Yeah, it is. Um, John said, thanks, Nick. Top work as always. Thanks very much, John. Um, have you heard anything about the cladding for the roof? Just wondering if another company have been sourced to supply and fit. Thanks again for the updates. Greatly appreciated. Yeah, John. So I have heard, right, that the company... Um, oh, what was their name? Now I can't I can't recall their name at the top of my head. Somebody, will, somebody I'm sure will say. And I did do a video on it. I, def I do know the name. I just completely forgot it. But anyway... Um, I have been informed that the the original cladding company that went into administration um, have passed the contract over to their sister company. Um, that's just what I've heard. It's uh, so so it's all going ahead and look. There, there's more cladding up. So that that's the main point, isn't it? Um, you know, I'm sure nobody really cares how it's done, why or or what's gone on. But the the fact is the the um there is more cladding on do you know what i've just realized i forgot to put my hat on got it my head's cold um yes yeah, so yeah it's for me as i've said before I, I i work in commercial litigation and and for me um that sort of stuff stinks a little bit um and the the, the original cladding company did come out and make a statement um, because there was a lot of stuff going around they come out and, and explained the reasons why why they went into administration, people hadn't paid, people hadn't paid them. Other things happened, I'll tell you what, let's, let's move around, I'm just sitting still with the drone. Um, other things had happened which resulted in them going into administration, which is which is bad, it, it, you know, it's rubbish for them, I'm sure it's not what they wanted, but ultimately what they've then done is, is just gone into administration and passed off their contracts to their sister company um, and I'm sure they've got creditors that they're that they're not paying. Um, which which for me, let's have a look at that fella on the roof. Which for me, um, when you work in a bit of, like I say, a bit of commercial litigation, it it, it stinks a little bit. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, I'm, I'm informed that, that that's what that's what's happened. So they they are able to. Just gonna have a look at that fella there. They are going to continue with the cladder, as you can see. Somebody walking right across it there. Um, 
and it's it's continuous like i say i'm sure for 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 you know for everyone involved you're not you don't really probably not too fussed how how it it gets done or whatever and it, it the, the point is it is it is continuing and getting done so yeah um thanks very much for that john i hope that answered your question uh moving on we've got ian kendrick who says as a guess it could be getting configured for different lifts as they didn't split sections for transport on trailers might be wrong but let's see okay so i think ian is referring directly to the um the crawler crane that i mentioned in my last video which was down so let's um well, there's another guy on the roof let's move out and have a look down and here it is down there well, I'm 77 meters up. Let's let's uh, let's come down a lot and have a look at this. Have a look at this crane. Get down there. We can have a good look at it there. Um, so yes, so just to um, to address that again, what was it the Ian said, as a guess, it could be getting configured for different lifts as they didn't split sections for transport on trailers. Might be wrong, but let's see. Okay, Ian, you, you are not wrong. You are dead right. I have got, I'm um, lucky enough to have, a, to have somebody who, um, who does work on site who did drop me a message um, saying the crawler crane is being extended and more counterbalance weight being put on for a lift of one big steel at the Kenny Dog Lee stroke Anfield Road end pitch side internal block work and external brickwork really moving now okay so that's a different matter but um yeah so he's he's confirmed that the um the crane is being extended um for to for for a lift of one big steel at the kenny dog leash and anfield road and so so there you go um ian you're absolutely right so it's being it's actually being extended let's uh let's move out to, so we can get it all in one one shot if we can and he's saying for um there it is he's saying for one big steel so do we think that that is this steel down on the floor next to the old chairman's house there see so um yeah dead dead right ian a, f a few um a few other people did mention that as well about the crane so thanks very much for for that everybody you were you're quite honest to say I'm, I'm not sure it is being taken away and i did say didn't i that i was i was surprised if it was because there did look like there were there were more steels being erected and a few gaps up the at the top still to to put in so um so yeah we were, we were right about that okay moving on we've got shankly dream team um hi nick boss video love your videos mate keep up the good work thanks very much mate um on your midweek video can you please show our mural of the legends and current players mural along the anfield road development please thank you okay shankly so yeah absolutely Let's so what I'll do, um, what I'll do, especially for you, let's let's move around. What you're referring to is the red wall there on the back, aren't you? Um, and you'll be able to see everyone, that if you haven't seen before, there's the murals on the wall. They're really good as well. So, let's have a look. I'll come down as much as I can. There's obviously trees there. What I'll do though, I'll watch those trees. So I'll get them in here. Let's have a little zoom. And what I'll do at the very end, keep watching Shankly and everyone else, because at the very end, I'll take a little walk along and um, get a few shots of that for you. So there you are. You can see Rush, Kite, Torres. And if I pan along here, there's more over that end too. Starting with Origi, Firmino, Diaz, Nunes, Salah, 
Mane. So yeah, um, keep watching um, at the end. I'll do my end video up there and get that in, see what my hands are cold. Yeah, I'll get a few shots of that in at the end for you. Whilst we're here, let's let's pan in. Putting a lot of the um Well there'll be like air air conditioning and all that in there, aren't they? In that That section there. See it all being filled. Don't know if you can hear the works here, it's it's really loud sight today. Cracking uh cracking on with that work. Let's pan out before I get to my... In fact, I'll leave it there so you can just have a little little look at that. Um, so yeah, Shankly, keep watching at the end. We'll have a look. Um, moving on, we've got Rob Henderson. Hi, I always enjoy your video updates at both Anfield and the new Everton Stadium. Thanks very much, Rob. Did you see the Southampton versus Villa game had a short stoppage with a drone inside the stadium? Um, I actually didn't. A few people did message me, though, so what... The, the, this has happened before Robert some other games and every time it happens I seem to get like messages on um, Twitter and, and other social media saying Mr Drone I hope this isn't you um, and it could be like all different parts of the country it's it's not me it's never me but anyway um, I didn't see it but I was I was told about it um, have you ever accidentally caused a stoppage to anything with your drone before no Rob um, never never uh, I'm I'm quite I'm quite careful. I don't want, I'm not going to say like you know no no because I'm perfect kind of thing. But I am almost like over cautious. Um, I I don't ever want to be a pain. I don't know. There's um there's a couple of guys who watch um, PJ Old it in in another one. Um, in fact, I did use one of his videos. Um, I did use some of his footage footage because he covered the. He covered the the sites that are making um, the some of the concrete columns for the Bramley Moor dock site. But anyway, um, good good fella. But what he does, he him and a couple of the others, they go to sites <laughs> using their drones to they they're flying within the the rules and regs of the civil aviation rules. But they kind of it's almost like they go purposely to to take off right outside people's premises and companies' premises to to call <laughs> they know they're going to be a bit of a bit of a nuisance like um uh, and that's not it's not me they get loads of views people people quite like the the confrontation and that that they get but that's that's just not me i'll i'll just i've you know i've had security come out um at this site before just saying to me we've got some some people in um today could you not fly over the site and Although I, I could say to them, no, I'm, you know, I'm still able to fly over. I wouldn't, you know, I, I just, I'll always try and like comply if people like ask me, you know, can you do this? Can you not do this? And all that. I'd always try and comply. Um, you know, take for example, the, the Everton site down at Bramley Moor Dock. They've asked us not to fly midweek and that. And I've, you know, on that note, I'll just say I've complied for a long time, but I'm actually uh, ending that today, I think. And I'm just going to crack on because they're not giving us any info or anything that they that they promised us they they would do and yeah under the under the civil aviation rules and regs we're absolutely allowed to fly there so i'm just going to be cracking on now but it's still not causing a nuisance or or bringing any you know sight works to a to a stop or anything like that but it just it just is what it is when it comes to to stuff like that um but no i've not i've i've never caused any any like stoppages anything like that any sight words to stop any games to stop i don't fly over games on match days um i'm pretty sure you, you're not allowed anyway that wouldn't be within civil aviation rules because on match days whoever is covering the ground will put restrictions in place like flight restrictions because they'll make the applications to the um to the local um air, air traffic control and and a restriction will be put in place so so yeah nobody should actually be flying over unless they've got the authority to, to fly there so never done it myself but there you go um okay moving on we've got um chris bingham and dave and pam beverage I've, I've just um 
copied both of these in because it's the same sort of thing and loads of you commented on this so in my last video we did get when i flew over the i was over the um the ground getting these shots from inside of the anfield road stand i'd said about the we could see the camera real visibly because it was before the chelsea game and it was the i said is what what's it called is it the the eye in the sky or something because so i couldn't think of the name and loads of you commented saying it's the spider cam um so i just copied them up to say yeah thanks very much everyone really appreciate that you're you're absolutely right i just couldn't think of the name it it was indeed the the spider cam um so yeah guys there you go that's my video it's gone on for 15 minutes uh what we will do now is have a little look little look at at the uh the stand sorry let's go around the the main stand section have a little look at this corner which they are plowing on with now do you know what I did? I thought I had another question that somebody had said about the these sections in the corners. I mustn't have uh, mustn't have screenshotted it. I'm sorry about that. I did have another one. Somebody had said about um, the gaps in the corners. Is it if have they left gaps uh, purposefully for utilities to be installed or something like that? But um, yeah, I, don't, I, I obviously don't know. And it looks like they are building the the steels to go in these gaps at the moment pan round and have a look at the other end there's also I believe the Liverpool have not got a home game now until um, the, it's like February the 13th or something like that which is the, the derby I'm obviously not looking forward to that one everyone um, for obvious reasons but yeah there's the gap at that end but as we can see down here the, there's the uh the steel span being being erected for that but yeah so i think they've got a good a good um three weeks now with with uh, no game so it's gonna leave them quite a lot of time that to to crack on with the works so hopefully we'll see loads of maybe the, the the roof will be completely covered maybe the the rest of the those spans will be lifted in either way we will keep a close eye on it um, and cover it all. So, guys, yeah, I'm going to bring the drone now, pop up there and get uh, get some shots of those those murals for, for Shankly and everybody else and uh, do my own video. Right, OK, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. That was my my little midweek um, voiceover addressing some of your comments and, and questions. Um, a few there about the, the site and, and the works and a few, you know, about um, about me, me, my drone and that. So, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. And I'd like to mix that up if I can. The, you know, I, I do like questions about the site and comments on what, what we all know is perfect. That's what we all we all want. But personally for me, um, I also like, you know, when, when people ask the likes of... I um, can't think who it was, but, but asked about... Uh, me using my drone in the Southampton game and have I ever caused any any issues in that so I also like um, getting those questions in that and answering them so as I said for Shankly during this end video I'll walk up here and get this for you so let's just walk across if you like these murals as well Everyone, uh, if you scroll down on um, my channel, I did do a video where I did walk around all the murals and get them all, get shots of them all. So, that's the first section. Um, that's towards those that behind me there are towards the, um, the main stand end. And the next lot walking down towards the um, morning, walking down towards the the Anfield, sorry, the, the Sir Kenny Dalglish stand, and is the next lot. My hands are freezing. Um, everyone, it's like I say, weather, weather for drone flying is fine, not for the hands. Um, got gloves in the car as well. I've got to put my hat on. I've got my gloves. 
Never mind. Um, here's the next. Torres and Fowler. Great players. So there you go. Shankly, you asked. You asked, I delivered. Um, and for anybody else who wanted a little look at that as well. Um, they are, in case anybody doesn't know, you're not sure, as you can see, the Anfield Road stand um, development is right there. So those murals are on the wall, are right outside the back of that. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, as I said at the beginning, my midweek ones now and my voiceover ones, um, they just ch just changed round due to the weather. Um, so every I'll be back over here at the weekend doing a full circular, and they are ploughing on with the works. So getting a little wave off the uh, off some of the contractors there. It's always nice there. They're great here. I've said this before. All the contractors and that here on this site are, are fantastic. Always have been, you know, since since I started doing it. Um, contractors, security, everyone, they're, they're great. Um, always stand and have a chat, give you a wave, you know, really good, really good place to uh, to come in and do do the drone and enjoy it here. Um, but yeah, anyway, so guys, um, please like, share, subscribe. Please subscribe. Um, I am doing a, a live Q and A. Um, it's going to be on the 31st of January, uh, which I think, I'm pretty sure that's a Tuesday. Um, and it'll be about 8 to 8.30pm. I, I will confirm that in this weekend's video. And I'll be doing a few um, competitions as well, um, giveaways during that. So, do you know what? I've got to figure all this out. It's, it's actually quite, quite coming quite soon now. I've got to figure out how to do the giveaways anyway. Thinking out loud. Thinking out loud there. Um, you alright mate? Um, so yeah, um, as I said, please like, share, subscribe. Um, if you would like to buy me a beer, you can do so using this link. No pressure whatsoever. Um, and for any, if you'd like to, the link to my branded clothing, hoodies, hats that I haven't got on, point to my head anyway, um, follow this link. Guys, thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed that. Take care now.